Hello there, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you could join us again today. I've been busy lately. My family came down to see me last week. I've been having a lot of fun with them. I'm sure you spend a lot of time with your family too. Izwan, Lily, Usha, Justin, Nurul and Benji will be joining us in a while. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. Let's see what's on our show today. First, we're going to talk about families. Then, Mr. Hans will teach us how to make something interesting and useful. After that, we are going to learn how to use words to join sentences together. Do you know what's next? Yes, story time. And it's about Hassan the Coconut Boy. And then we're going to sing along to a new song before we end. So stay where you are. Don't go away because you're watching Next World. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nack. Nack, did you really meet your family last week? Yes, my father and mother came to visit me. My brother Pad and my sister Pam came along too. Here's a picture we took together. Now, did every one of you remember to bring a picture of your family? Yes! Good. Now, let's start. Usha will tell us about her family and then I want each of you to introduce your family to us. Sure, Nat. This is my father, this is my mother, this is my brother, this is my sister and me. Okay, Nat. This is my family. This is my father, this is my mother, these are my sisters and this is me. There are six members in my family. This is my father. This is my mother. These are my two brothers. This is my sister. And this is me. Nack, this is the picture of my family. This is my father. This is my mother. This is my grandmother and my little brother. And this is me. Nack, my family and I went for a holiday last month. This picture was taken there. This is my father. He's holding me and my little brother. This is my mother. And this is my grandmother. I come from a small family. This is my father. This is my mother. And this is me. I'm holding a koala bear. Wow! What great families you have! Now I know all the members of your family. I have a great idea. Let us sit down and draw our own family tree. That would be fun. All you need to do is to collect some pictures of your family members. Paste them onto a card and label them. I have done mine already. Here, have a look. So, have fun drawing your family tree. Bye! This is a job for Spellman! Library 
library. Hmm. School. School. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, we meet again. Today, we are going to learn how to make a paper bag. For this activity, we are going to use an A4 sized paper. We shall begin by folding along one side of the paper at a width of about 3 cm. Next, we are going to roll the paper and stick the sides together. And this is how we do it. We will now make a fold next to the glued area at a width of about 3 cm too. We we'll make similar folds on the other side. Let's see what we have come up with so far. Now, fold both sides inwards like this. So, our bag now is almost ready. To complete the bag, we shall permanently close the bottom end by sticking the folds together like this. And then we can stick them together slowly and neatly. So our bag is now finally ready. See? Don't forget to add handles to your bag. You can use strings like this. With lots of practice, I know you shall be able to make more bags of various sizes, colors and shapes. Bye! It's word family time again. And the family we are looking at today is the months of the year. There are 12 months in a year. Here are the names of the first six. January. February. March April May Like I said, 
That's just the first six months of the year. Here's your homework, yay! Draw a mind map and fill it in with the other six months of the year. Okay, have fun! Today, we are going to look at words that can help us join two sentences together. Here are some of them. N O But This is how it works. N N Arwin has a ball. Arwin has two books. Arwin has a ball and two books. Or Or Is this an apple or an orange? This is an apple. But But an elephant is big. A mouse is small. An elephant is big, but a mouse is small. Well, that's how we use words to join sentences together. Try using these words, okay? Seven. Seven, 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 seven. I know you're going to enjoy our story today. It's called Hassan the Coconut Boy. Just watch. And listen. Hassan was 12 years old. He was an orphan. His parents died when he was very young. So he lived in a house with other orphan boys and girls. Hassan was a hard-working boy. After school, he would sweep and clean people's gardens. These people would then give him some money and food. Everyone liked him. He was polite and did his work well. One day, as Hassan was walking to his house, he found a coin. He had never seen a coin like it before. Hmm, what a strange coin, he said. Later that day, he took the coin to a coin shop. The coin collector gave him some money. Hassan was very happy. I know what I'll do. I'll buy some coconuts. Then, after I finish sweeping every day, I will sell coconut drinks. He said. And that's just what Hassan did. After he finished sweeping, he would walk around and sell his coconut drink. Everyone loved Hassan's coconut drink. It was cool, fresh and sweet. Every day, more and more people would stop him and buy his drink. Soon, he had enough money to buy a bicycle. Now he could carry more coconut drinks and he could go farther away to sell them. Hassan sold his coconut drinks in this way for many years. He saved all the extra money he earned. When Hassan finished school, he opened a small stall to sell his special coconut drink. Hassan's stall was a great success. 
Many, many people came to enjoy his cool, fresh, and sweet drink. Many of the boys and girls who lived in Hassan's house helped him at the stall. Hassan made a lot of money. Not long after that, Hassan had an idea. I know what I'll do, he said. I will make special machines to sell my coconut drink. I will put these machines all over Malaysia. Then everyone will be able to enjoy my special coconut drink. And Hassan did just that. What a success it was! Hassan became very rich. He used his money to help all the poor people that he knew. Ah, it's time to make compound words again. We get compound words when we join two different words together, like this. Bath Room Bathroom Bathroom Rain Coat Raincoat Raincoat Net Ball Net Ball Net Ball for more fun in learning English. Bye for now.